Hey guys, let's take a look at percent. The word percent means parts per hundred. You've probably seen the word cent and other things like you know, centipede, which means, uh, I think a centipede is like the other, I don't know, a centipede is like, you have Fahrenheit and you have centipede. It's 40, 42 degrees centipede or something like that. That might not be right. Who knows? Okay. That just means a hundred. Century, things like that. The definition of percent is part per a hundred. One percent just means you divide by a hundred. So you can find one percent of any number on earth. Like if, they, if somebody gives you 9,328 and they say, oh, well, can you find a one percent of that? You just go, yeah, it's easy. You divide by a hundred. And don't, you know, don't do a long division problem. There's a decimal already. Divide by a hundred just means you put it over twice. The answer is 93.28, right? If somebody says there's 75,000, 681. And they go, oh, what's 1% of that? You just go divide by 100, divide by 10, divide by 100, um, 756.81. There you go. That's all there is to it. So you can use that on these. So what's 1% of 7,500? Well, there's the decimal. Just go over twice. The answer is 75. That's all you got to do. What's 34% of 7,500? Ooh, it's kind of weird. Now, all you would need to do is go, okay, well, 34% of 7,500, you could just say, all right, I'm just going to multiply 0.34 times 75, or you could just go uh, take what is 1%, which we know is 75, and then multiply that by 34. That's all you need to do, okay? All right, how about 1% of 67? Well. Uh, you know, again, anytime you find 1% of a number, you're just dividing by 100, right? So you can just go, okay, 67 divided by 100. Now, if you wanted to write that as a decimal, you could write, okay, fine, just 0.67. There you go, all right? What's 140% of 67? Well, 100% of 67 is 67, right? 40% of 67, you could just go, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if you, if they wanted you to find out 100% of 67, you just go one times 67, which is, sixty-seven. Okay. So if they had 140% of 67, you could just go 1.4 times 67 to find the answer. That's all there is to that. Okay. All right. Look on page 172. Try those practice problems and come on back when you're done. Okay, well the first one is what is 1% of 67? Uh, you know, and again, just, oh, excuse me, I'm looking at the wrong thing, never mind. 1% of 64. 1% of 64? Covered that one nicely, didn't I? You just divide by 100, right? 64 over 100, or 0.64. There you go. Second one, what is 40% of 64? Well, 40% of 64 would just be 0.64 times 40. We already know what 1% is, right? Times 40 would be 25.6. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's go to C. What is 1% of 5? Well, that just means divide by 100, right? So it's 5 over 100. Now, if you were to write this as a decimal, this would be point what? Don't say point 0.5. 0 0.05, okay, correct, all right? Let's go to D. What is 35% of five? Well, you would just go, well, that's 1% of five. All I need to do is multiply that by 35, okay? So that'd be 1.75, and there you go, okay? That's all there is to it, okay? See you guys next time, short lesson. Have fun with that one, see ya.